Hi, in this session we will talk about how to add diagnoses and problems. We will show you in the various spots where diagnoses and problems can be added in Cerner. The easiest way is to click Diagnosis and Problems. Uh, note there's currently existing a diagnosis and some problems. One can simply click Add and type in, for instance, COPD search and uh, various types of COPD might come up. One can just select the one that was interested, click OK, and um, then click OK here again. One can also click OK and add new, in which case a second window will pop up saying, do you want to add additional diagnoses? One can also add it under add problems and diagnosis, in which case it will add it as a current diagnosis and as a problem. So for instance, if we selected add problem and diagnosis, it adds COPD as a diagnosis and a chronic problem. And uh, you can see it here. Next, we're going to talk about um, how to manipulate these. If, for instance, this was incorrect or it was a mistake, one can simply click Remove Diagnosis. And it crosses it out. Of course, it will remember um, for audit purposes anything that was typed in. So let's go back and enter in a, a diagnosis of uh, pneumonia. And click Search and one can uh, do community acquired pneumonia, click OK, click OK again, and notice how community acquired pneumonia is here. Now, let's say someone wanted to add a chronic condition of hypertension. Um, one can simply click Diagnosis or can click on Problems here. For the learning purposes, we'll click Add a Problem called Hypertension. And it does rem uh, know how to uh, get uh, abbreviation. So maybe this is hypertension um, with a benign. Click OK and click OK. And so notice how it added hypertension. So in this way one can add and modify um, conditions, problems and, problems and diagnoses. Another place is to click Add uh, under Orders where we enter orders. You could click Add here. And notice on the left side one can click Add on the diagnosis field here. And let's say we can add a diagnosis of cellulitis. Search. And one can select the generic cellulitis or a specific location. Click OK. Click OK and notice cellulitis gets added. And, and note, it, note how previously we had entered pneumonia and that got added as well. A similar workflow for the, for the problems. Just click Add. And one can add in, for instance, osteoarthritis and select and here's osteoarthritis as a problem. And then click OK and notice how it added osteoarthritis. So that's a second place to add a diagnosis. Um, usually those are the two spots that are quick and easy. There's this uh, inpatient summary M page where one can search for a diagnosis here under the diagnosis and problems window and one can type in for instance um, um, headache so headaches and so notice there's a headache select headache and notice we're adding it as a diagnosis and problems and notice headache got added as a diagnosis as well as a problem one can left click on this and say only add it as a problem and notice everything we add now is going to be added as a problem um, and so the best setting is to leave it as diagnosis and problems um, so that's a second way. Another place to add it is this Discharge Readiness M page, where you can go in and add a, a discharge diagnosis. For instance, one can add um, renal failure. I notice renal failure NOS. One can select renal failure as a discharge diagnosis. And if you hover over it, you can see it's a discharge diagnosis that got added. Anything that we add always shows up here. Um, diagnoses and problems section. Um, so these are supposed to be synonymous. Uh, regardless of where we enter these diagnoses, um, um, they should be visible. So headache, cellulitis, pneumonia, um, osteoarthritis, acute UTI, COPD, headache, hypertension um, are all listed. Um, so that's how one can add diagnoses and problems. A third, a fourth place is if you click Depart, and 
in your discharge process, you can click Diagnosis this pencil, and one can add the same uh, process through here. Just click Add for Diagnoses or Add for Problems. Thank you.